a little valley, and that town is filled with scandal. Welcome to week six of Scandal 18, the scandal that's finally legal. Starring Michael Vinton as Seymour Weezer. Carlton Hightower. So I shot the guy because I thought he killed my sister, but now I don't know if my sister's dead, and then I shot another guy, but he was a Mormon, so I don't think that's a big problem. Sorry, Caroline Treadwell, as his sister, or his triplet. We'll find out Francisca Charlton Hightower.
And remember when I locked you into the thoroughbred's stall during mating season? Yeah, he was a, he was rough. <laughs> yes, he was. And remember when I used to play the game of let's go hide in the mine and then I would leave and I would leave you buried in there? Somebody always found you. They never noticed you were gone for days, but eventually they found you. Okay, this you is never right. died. I'm you just became mentally retarded. <laughs> but I'm going to finish what I didn't start. Walk over to the shark tank, Francis. Not Mr. Nibbles. Mr. Nibbles is hungry. Not Mr. Nibbles. He already got one of my toes. I could shoot you, but it wouldn't be painful enough. Mr. Nibbles likes to eat one part of the time. He's been hungry for your blood ever since that toe. Wait! <laughs> Let me be the one to do it. He took my arm, and I want to take your life. No, darling. It's my job. Are you sure about that, lovey? Let's, let's ask that guy if he wants to, to play. Maybe he'll be the tiebreaker. Oh, my ass is on fire. Oh, it's hurting so much. Oh, Just, my god. It really is on fire. <laughs> They got away! They got away! You oh, guys, you're awful! What? Oh my god! Oh my, god. Oh my, god. <laughs> my son just kissed me on the lips! <laughs> Don, do you think you can still fornicate to your injury? Ah! Other side. <laughs> Nobody saw that coming. Certainly not the director. If you remember, last week, Sarah Schiller was on the run with Dee Dee McGraw. They decided to leave town because there was so much danger. They were trying to set Sarah Schiller up for the murder of Lokita Bonaccia and Dee Dee McGraw for the murder of Francesca Hightower. Just because both of those people are still alive doesn't mean it's not still a rough place to be. Sarah Schiller goes to get some food supplies at the diner where Pamela Bully works. Dee Dee McGraw is waiting out in the car, we're not gonna see her, and that's why. Well, you know, it looks like we're out of meat sauce. Okay, Pamela Bully, I can't believe you sent me in the back to look for meat sauce. I, I don't need meat sauce. I just need uh, enough food to feed two people for six to 20 weeks. Six to 20 weeks? Well, that's how long I've been told out we may, how long I've been told we may have to hide out. I'm not sure why it's so specific and yet so vague, but Didi Bra <laughs> is very sure that that is the time. You know what, Sarah? I'm worried about you. I am really extremely worried about you. Did you know that I spend my time checking up on you? No, but I do know that you being worried about me is incredibly offensive. It's like, <laughs> hey, Pot, I'm the kettle. We're both black. We're losers. We're always going to be losers. And one day I'm just going to be just like you wearing smeared red lipstick and a bear cap. You are going to be just like me someday. Oh, except for I'm going to be in jail. You want to know why? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> because I gave you up for a dog. 
dream revelations in two scenes. Who's going to be whose kid in the next scene? Let's find out as Francis Hartower runs to who he thinks will provide protection. Bruno chums glass down at the police station. Bruno is just discovering that his prisoner, Claire Fontaine, has escaped and is dealing with that. Francis is going to run in in just a second. I wonder if he's somebody's kid. I must be, uh, ruminating on something. Why? My, my dead sister just tried to kill me. You need to sit down. Are you feeling all right here? No. Come sit down. How could your dead sister try to kill you? She's dead. I saw her out in the town. I saw her. I'm the one who saw her body. I, I tried to give her CPR. I failed, but I tried. Well, I never actually saw her. You guys just told me she was dead, but then I came home and she was alive. I and I ran in and I dropped a gun and I, I think I accidentally shot that Mormon kid. And then and then she picked up the gun and then she told me she was going to finally do what she's been trying to do since we were little kids. Can you write that down, maybe? Uh, I'm not really the smart type to remember stuff. Uh, so you're saying that your dead sister is now alive and she is trying to kill you? Yes. All right. She's got really kind of... You'll go ahead and sit right here. I'm just gonna call the, uh, you know, the hospital real quick. I don't need. I, I didn't. I didn't get shot. Everybody, I, I, I shot Seymour Weezer and the Mormon. You're gonna have to get. You, I'm sorry, you shot people. Oh. <laughs> Francis. Yeah. What is going on here? Did you shoot somebody? Well, I thought that Seymour shot my sister, and I got mad, so I went and I confronted him. All like, right, come on. Get in there. Oh. All right, you stay here. Don't leave me alone. She'll find me here. Aye, 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 aye. You're fine. You're in a police station. I'm going to go look for your dead sister. Right. Stay. And don't use magic. <laughs> Meanwhile, the woman who escaped from that jail cell, Claire Fontaine, and the woman who freed her, Lokita Ponacha, who have both sworn revenge against Sarah Schiller, are plotting that revenge in the local park. Juicy apple. I took that apple and I was like, oh, 
sucked it all over the place. Mm. It's like a Granny Smith or more of a Macintosh. Mm. <laughs> Man, there was none Granny about that. <laughs> and that's why I gotta kill that bitch. She's all jealous about me. That's why she tried to kill me because she's in love with that. That's my man. This is like a vindictive thing for you. I thought this was justice. Man, another boot, you know what I'm saying? Man? God, you are such a complicated woman. Yeah, get over it. Look. <laughs> take you to the palatial Vanderwinkel estate. Sarah Schiller's about to come in. I love Diet Coke. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Sprinkle of a lemon? Yes, I will. <laughs> Two bits. <laughs> Like it's a bad thing. I just can't imagine anyone. 
making love to that woman. You were cry that night. <laughs> Francesco or Francisca Hightower out of the palatial Hightower estate. Poor Demetrio Woodruff is still slightly bleeding from his ass over on the corner. At some point later in the scene, Lugina Panaccia will appear at the window and beckon him over. something to confess. After we, um... <laughs> yeah, baby, just tell me whatever you want to say. Mommy's right here. After, after we... I don't want to say this. I've never... I've 
never cheated on anybody before, but <laughs> I guess this is the best time than ever. Listen, after we had sex, that's nice. After we had had sex, I had sex with Francesca or her twin. What the fuck? I know, yeah. seriously. Ugh. Hold up, man. You had sex with who? Oh. No, 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 I was thinking of you the whole time. I even said your name. Were you with me? No, that don't count, man. You had sex with another bitch. No. He was not shooting, just put him down or say hey, him or something.
who knows how to follow somebody. And listen, Francesca, why don't you sit down? Mr. Hightower. Yes? No, the other one, the more recent Hightower. Yeah. Why don't you sit down? Yes, sir. Yes. Francis, my apologies. Thanks, Ted. Can I go? I want to be as far away from her as possible. Go ahead. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, thank you. I didn't think you were that smart, chums. Me either. Huh. But looky here, here we are. Huh. And what are you going to do about it? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to find out who's pulling the strings here. Oh, really? Yeah. I know that you couldn't be doing this alone. So who is it? Who are you working with? Tell me and I can make sure that you get a good deal. All right. The person behind all of this is F.C. Vanderwinkle. <laughs> <laughs>
Strangely not hearing the sound of gunshots from the police station, Pamela Bully rushes into the woods outside of the palatial Hightower estate to find Demetrio Woodruff comforting Lokita Panacha. Will she have some words of advice? Probably, otherwise why would we have this scene? Somebody. What? Who did it hit? What's the relationship? If Lokina Panacha and Sarah Schiller are half sisters, and Sarah Schiller now knows who both of her parents are, what does that mean for poor Lokina Panacha? What's happening with Seymour Weezer? Whose mouth will chums end up on this time? Find out in another exciting episode of. Oh.